complicated. Use a pipe wrench to install the pipe plug into the hole in the suction manifold. Do not over tighten the pipe plug. Verify that the correct amount of grease was installed by pulling the impeller shaft out and then pushing it in again. If the shaft stays in place, the amount of grease is fine. If, however, the shaft pushes itself back out, you have applied too much grease. If this happens, just remove the pipe plug. Take out some of the grease and reinstall the plug. Check the shaft movement again to make sure it stays in place when pushed in. Now go back and install the remaining bolts on each bowl. Use a wire brush to clean the shaft threads. Apply an anti-seize compound to the threads. Screw the long shaft coupling onto the shaft, turning counterclockwise or to the left. Continue turning the coupling on until the end of the shaft is visible through the centering hole located in the middle of the coupling. Do not strike the coupling with a hammer or other object when installing or disassembling it. This creates local stresses which may cause cracking of the coupling when torque is applied during pump operation. Clean the threads of the top bowl with a wire brush, then apply a thin coat of an anti-seize compound. This lubricant will serve to protect the threads of the top bowl and the column coupling and prevent them from rusting over time. To install the column coupling, place it on the threads of the top bowl and turn it to the left until you feel it grab the threads. Then you can screw it on clockwise or to the right until the coupling is tight against the rim of the top bowl. Place the chain tongs around the top bowl to keep it immobile while you use another chain tong to tighten the column coupling. Clean the threads of the line shaft with the wire brush. Then apply an anti-seize compound. Hold the shaft coupling with one hand and screw the line shaft counterclockwise or to the left until it is hand tight. The small hole in the middle of the coupling has another function in addition to serving as a peephole. It also serves to let air escape so that the ends of the impeller and the line shafts can come together tightly. To finish the installation of the first line shaft section, use one pipe wrench to hold the impeller shaft in place while you use another pipe wrench to give a final turn or two to the line shaft. It is not necessary to over tighten the shafts into the coupling because when the pump operates, the rotation of the shafts will cause them to automatically tighten. Prepare the first column pipe for installation by first cleaning the threads with a wire brush and then applying a thin coat of an anti-seize compound. Use caution when installing the column pipe to not damage the threads of the line shaft. Hand tighten the column pipe then use the chain tongs to finish installing it. If more line shafts and column pipes are needed for your application, you will need to install them in the field with a pump in the vertical position. Consult Peerless's publication B2633119, Service Instructions for Vertical Turbine Pumps, for further details. Clean the threads of the last section of column pipe with a wire brush and then apply an anti-seize compound. Place the top column flange adapter on the column pipe and turn it counterclockwise or to the left until you feel it grab the threads. Then screw it on clockwise or to the right until hand tight. Peerless recommends the following method to assure a tight fit of the flange adapter to the column pipe. Use two stainless steel bolts and place them in two of the holes of the flange. Use a stainless steel crowbar to turn the flange. Continue moving the bolts and turning the flange until it will not go any further. This method is easier than using the chain tongs and is also more effective. Spray the holes in the face of the discharge heads with an anti-seize spray and then install the studs. Use the air impact wrench equipped with a stud driver to complete the installation of the studs. 
Note that one of the holes is not threaded. No stud is installed here. This hole is used to install an airline if required. Before moving the discharge head over to the pump, stabilize it with wooden blocks inserted between the sling and the rim of the discharge head. Apply grease to the groove in the column flange adapter. Install the gasket in the groove, manually checking it to make sure it sticks to the column flange adapter. It is recommended that you use an anti-sea spray on the line shaft to facilitate the installation of the packing container, which we'll get to in just a moment. Carefully position the discharge head against the pump. Use caution to not damage the threads of the line shaft and the studs in the discharge head. Align the non-threaded hole in the discharge head with the non-threaded hole in the column flange adapter and insert the studs into the appropriate holes in the adapter. Secure the nuts using the air impact wrench. To assemble your pump's packing container, Verify you have all the parts you need. One packing container box. One packing container washer. One packing container gasket. Six packing container rings. Four cap screws. Two gland retainer bolts. Two gland nuts. Two gland clamps. One split gland. Here the two pieces are shown assembled together one rubber water deflector or top shaft seal, one zerk fitting or grease fitting, and one zerk cap. Packing containers vary according to the particular specifications of your pump and application. Refer to the operations manual for particular instructions on your model. You will only need one wrench and some pipe thread sealant to assemble the packing container. Put pipe thread sealant on the threads of the zerk fitting and install it into the cavity in the top of the packing container. Using the wrench to tighten it. Do not over tighten or you could strip the threads of the zerk fitting. Place the cap on the end of the fitting. Place the packing container washer into the hole. Next, insert the packing rings, one by one. It is very important to alternate the positioning of the open end of the packing rings. This will allow the correct amount of water being pumped to travel along the shaft and provide a better lubricating effect. If these are packing rings you are installing for the first time, you will only be able to fit five packing rings into the packing container. If this pump is coming to you new from the factory, it will have five rings installed and one loose. After a short period of operating the pump, the packing rings will flatten and then the sixth ring can be installed. Place the gland retainer bolts in the slots provided for them, heads down and threads up. Place the split gland on the packing box. Then the gland clamps. Finally, hand tighten the nuts onto the bolts. Once the pump is functioning, you can go back and tighten them with a wrench. Just remember, the packing container should always leak allowing a steady stream of water to pass through it. Tightening the nuts too much will prevent sufficient leakage and may damage the packing rings and shaft. The acceptable range of leakage is from 30 to 60 drops per minute. Position a gasket on the rim of the packing container. Then slide the packing container over the top shaft into the discharge head. Put the cap screws provided in the holes and tighten them with an air impact wrench in the form of an X. This assures that the packing container is evenly seated into the discharge head. 
Use your hand or the beater to slide the water deflector into place and then screw on the short coupling. For this particular pump's application, we will not be installing a pre-lubrication system, an airline, nor a pressure gauge. Therefore, we use plugs coated with pipe thread sealant to seal the holes provided for these accessories. All Peerless fire pumps are shipped with a nameplate that indicates the pump's model, rated flow, pressure, brake horsepower, head, and most importantly, its serial number. The serial number is what you will need to order replacement parts and accessories from Peerless Pump. As a recognized leader in the world for pumping system components, Peerless strives to deliver the finest quality products designed to operate efficiently and meet your most demanding pump system needs.